Well, we've, we've come to the end of the, uh, the five days there, I say. Um, a great experience. Ups and downs, lows and highs. Uh, Monday, dreadful day. Tuesday, a revelation, not only for me, but also for my parents in terms of my tattoos. Monday, Phoenix from the Ashes, um, which was quite, um, quite revealing, really, in terms of my character working under pressure and trying to recover something from the, the abyss. Um, and yeah, I think that the Monday was a reflection of trying to draw what people perceived I should have been drawing uh, on the show. Um, Wednesday, part of my abstract talents coming out, as I, I would say, talents in its loosest term. And then Thursday was the um, the Avatar cartoon poster image of um, Alpha, very angular. Um, Love the pencil work, made the big mistake of using acrylics to actually block out totally some of the great line work. And uh, yeah, that was a wrong choice of media, but had its own finesse, dare I say. And the last piece, I mean, the last piece just blew me away. I mean, I, I, to this day, I don't know where that came from. Um, it was under pressure. You could see from the episode, there was a lot of people competing in the room for their final piece. Um, people said it was a swan song that they was going for. Um, mine was just pure technical drawing um, with the pressure of putting colour in, uh, which I resisted as far as I could. But I think now on reflection to see where I am presently with some of my work, yes, I should have put some colour in there and it would have resonated in terms of the chap's um, scarf. But it was to me a solid piece. Uh, and it was it was a uh, an epiphany, if that's the right word, from where we were Monday to where we ended up on the on the on the Friday, which was a great place for me. I was absolutely delighted with the week and then made some great friends. Really made some great friends. In terms of what's next, I mean, blooming heck, um, I went into painting because I didn't think I could draw. Um, so I was throwing paint on canvases and, and I'm still dragging paint because I absolutely adore it, but I didn't think I can draw. I think now um, I know I can draw. So it's really going to be pushing the boundaries uh, and I'm sure you'll see a lot more of some of the finer work I'm doing. <clears throat> and there will be pieces there that it takes up to 10 days to draw rather than uh, an hour or two in terms of... Uh, mayhem on the canvas ultimately i want to get to a style where there is the mix of fine drawing uh, human anatomy and abstract backgrounds which will lend itself to following the uh, the theme of uh, gustav klimt um, that's where i want to go uh, i do want to start using colors and metallics uh, and different fabrics and textures which is really going to be an amalgam of all the skills i've uh, I'm starting to learn. I can't say I've got the skills yet. I think it's just pure experimentation. Uh, and that's the exciting bit, is that there's so many different things I can now do. Um, whereas before, there was nothing that I could was in my sights, nothing I could grasp. Uh, now, I, I feel I've got a foundation to move and a foundation to build upon, which is the most important thing, I think, in, in, in life and in terms of any, any hobby. And this ain't a hobby anymore. Um, this is now a vocation. And, and once you've got that confidence, I mean, for me in particular, it's just going to go exponential. Uh, and that's what I'm hoping for. And do you know what? That's what I'm going to achieve.